I think I, I, I probably sort of became fairly serious about writing and reading right around the same time. So I was about 14, 15 years old, and I found that I was uh, almost happier um, in literature than I was probably anywhere else. And so I began kind of thinking about literature really seriously at that age, but I never had the courage to say I was going to be a writer or that I wanted to be a writer. I couldn't do that until I was probably uh, almost kind of done with university. I was around 21, 22, but by that point I'd already been writing really steadily um, almost every day since I was about 16. But I took, uh, took that sort of extra time and maturity to say that what I was doing was trying to become a writer, more that I was writing, and then after writing for a long time, I kind of had the, the courage to say I was a writer. It's such an obvious part of my identity. It's the, you know, sort of almost at the foundation of my identity is the sort of mixed heritage of, of being an immigrant and having this Ethiopian background and at the same time being completely American. I mean, having been raised in America and having all the privileges of an American childhood, always remembering the country that I was born in at the same time. And so my identity has always been sort of um, not necessarily split, but fused between these two cultures and these two different countries. And so as, as a writer, my work kind of begins out of that, um, out of both out of that divide and also out of that uh, attempt to make a kind of cohesion out of these two identities. And so it's as important to me as um, as anything else that I could possibly think of that's made me as a person and that's made me as a writer. Uh, one of the things I've, I've thought about a lot these days about, about my work and, and also specifically in this context of the sort of bill check is, um, is this uh, sense of what an immigrant uh, artist or writer in my particular case is and, um, and how, it's, how it's important to understand that these aren't uh, sort of the immigrant narrative or the immigrant artist is not sort of a subset or a subspecies of, of a kind of American landscape, but is um, an sort of integral part of its creation of its culture. And, and as much as I, I respect my sort of status as an immigrant in my own background, making sure that that background is not seen as somehow exclusionary to an American one, um, that it is a, sort of an inherent part of an American identity is that sort of um, different cultural identity that's sort of brought into America and that kind of fuses America and gives America this sort of expansiveness that I think um, no other country that I know has. And that's part of why it's sort of great as a writer to be able to write about American culture and to write about characters who come from Africa and are in America and are experiencing this landscape in this country um, through an entirely different set of eyes that are, um, but from the moment they're in America, they are a part of it.